Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I will teach you how to make this exact simulation in Blender using MantaFlow, which is now included in Blender. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by scaling up the cube. So press S to scale, and then press S and then Y to scale it on the Y axis. And this will be our domain, which is the border of the simulation. And then let's go into the physics settings, turn on the uh, fluid physics, and turn this into a domain. And then the next step is to uh, set the domain type to liquid. And then we can increase the uh, resolution of the simulation. And the higher resolution, the more details you get for the liquid simulation. But it's also going to take a longer time to uh, both bake the simulation and render the simulation. So let's set it to uh, 200 for now. And then we also need to enable mesh so that we can turn the liquid particles into mesh so that we can actually see it in a render. And then I'll set the uppers factor to 4, which increases the quality of the uh, simulation. And then set the particle radius to 1. You can also add foam and bubbles to the simulation, but I'm not going to do that in uh, this tutorial. And to make the simulation last longer, we can uh, increase the end value. So let's set it to 300, so that the simulation lasts until frame 300. And then I'm also going to set the viewport display to wireframe so that we can actually see what uh, what's happening inside the uh, domain. So uh, let's add a, a cylinder, which will be the inflow, and then press G, and then Y, to grab it on the Y axis, and then press R, X, and then 90, to rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis, and then you can press G, and then set, to grab it on the Z axis, and then you can press S and then Shift Y to scale the cylinder only on the X and Z axis. And then press S to scale. And I think that looks fine. So uh, let's go into edit mode. And uh, then let's uh, go to face select, hold and shift and select the faces on each side of the cylinder. Then press N and set the main value to 1 so that these faces stay flat when we add the subdivision surface modifier. So let's go to the modifiers and add the subdivision surface modifier. And then let's set the number of subdivisions to 3 for the render, which uh, should be enough. And then press S and then Shift Y to scale it on the X and Z axis once again. And then we need to go into the physics settings and then go to fluid, and then set the uh, type to flow, and then liquid, and then let's set it to inflow, so that the water keeps flowing in. And I will add three substeps, and then set the initial velocity to 0.5 on the y-axis, so that the water flows out on the y-axis. Okay, and then the next step is to add an obstacle. So uh, let's go to Add, then Mesh, and then let's add a uh, UV Sphere. And then press G, then Y to grab it on the Y axis. And then press G, then Set to grab it on the Z axis. And then press S to Scale. And then we can add a uh, subdivision surface modifier to increase the number of polygons. And then I will also add some uh, smooth shading. Now, before we add the uh, physics to the uh, sphere, we need to make sure that the water actually hits the uh, sphere. So uh, let's do a test bake first. Let's go into the domain settings. And I'll set the resolution to 64, because this is just a test bake. 
and then just click bake data and then I'm going to cancel at around 25% because we just need to see whether the water hits the obstacle and it does so let's select the obstacle and go into fluid and then effector which is the same as obstacle in the previous versions of blender and then select the domain and let's free the bake and then set it to a higher resolution i'm going to set it to 200 and then we can bake the data but before we bake let's save so save as give the file a name and you can save it wherever you want on the computer and then click bake data and after about 51 minutes of baking we have the uh, particles and then the next step is to bake the mesh so let's set the end frame to 300 because the uh, simulation lasts for uh, 300 frames and then let's do a new save in case something crashes and before we bake the mesh we can take a look at uh, what the simulation looks like so uh, let's look through some of the frames and as you can see the water inflow is very strong and the water rises very quickly if you think the uh, simulation is too fast you can also change the speed of the simulation in the uh, domain settings okay so uh, let's uh, bake the uh, mesh so click bake mesh and after uh, 59 minutes of uh, baking we have the uh, mesh as well for the fluid simulation and that means that we can add materials to the fluid and actually see the fluid so i'm going to save once again click on the plus sign to create a new save and now everything is ready for setting up the render itself by adding smooth shading we can make the water look a bit better so we'll go to objects and then shade smooth and then let's go to one of the later frames and then move the 3d cursor to the bottom of the uh, water so move the 3d cursor go back to normal selection go to add mesh and then add a plane and then press s to scale and uh, then the next step will be to uh, select the light and then go into the light settings and then let's change the uh, render to uh, cycles and then if you have a GPU make sure to use it and then let's set the number of samples to uh, 300 you can set it lower if you want to as well and that is going to speed up the render okay so let's go to the light settings change it into a sun let's set the strength to uh, around uh, 10 and then press R two times to rotate the sun freely and uh, then let's go into rendered view to see what it looks like And as you can see right now, the uh, water kind of looks like milk. So we need to add a uh, glass shader to the water. So let's select the water. And then go into the materials. Let's set it to glass. And then we need to set the roughness to zero. And the IOR to uh, four divided by three which is one point three 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 and um, as you can see we have water 
Now, when it comes to the uh, background color and the materials, there is no right or uh, wrong answer. So just experiment with the different uh, materials and uh, shaders. And uh, let's select the uh, sphere and add a material to the sphere. Let's go into materials, new material, and I'm going to use the uh, glossy shader and make it blue. And we can also add a background color if you want to. I'm not going to do that for the final animation because I think it looks better with a background, but uh, that's also an option, which is very good for uh, glossy materials. Now I'm going to speed up this part because um, it's not really uh, necessary to follow along. I just uh, recommend experimenting with the different materials. And as you can see, with an HDRI, it doesn't really look that good on uh, water, so I'm uh, going to set the background back to RGB. So let's make the uh, background completely white. And I think that looks better. And for the floor, I'm going to set it to uh, diffuse and make that white as well. Okay, so I think that looks nice. We can also change the uh, color of the water by selecting the water material and we can make it blue for example. Okay, so uh, now the next step of the tutorial is to set up the camera. So let's go back to solid view and then press the button 0 to look through the camera and then let's lock the camera to view and we need to make sure to increase the range of the camera so select the camera and go into the camera settings and let's increase the end value to increase the range of the camera and then find the right position for the camera and I'm going to try to make sure that everything is within the frame of the camera throughout the whole animation and simulation so something like this backwards if you hold in um, shift and the uh, middle mouse button you can move the camera a little bit backwards as well okay so let's uh, save before we continue let's click on the plus sign and then save as okay so now the next step of the tutorial is to set up the render settings and the output settings so let's uh, set it to GP rendering if you have one and if you have a GPU, make sure to set the tile size to 512. If you only use a CPU, just leave it at 64. And then I'm going to set the uh, resolution percentage to 200. If you only want a 1080p render, just leave it at 100%. And then I'll set the compression to 90%. And um, for the output, I'm going to uh, set it to... Uh, one of my render folders and then create a new folder for this render and this will be where the animation ends up then select the folder and then give the animation a name and then we can do a uh, test render so we'll go to uh, one of the uh, earlier frames and then go to render and then render image and as you can see this is a 4k render if you left it at 100% it's going to be 1080p okay so uh, let's go back to uh, the uh, viewport and I'm going to adjust the uh, camera slightly so maybe something like this Let's go into the materials and add a material for the uh, cylinder inflow. So we can make it orange, for example. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to uh, leave it transparent. So uh, 
let's select a uh, transparent shader and for uh, transparent shaders we have uh, two options we have both the uh, translucent shader and the transparent shader which uh, basically does the same thing there are some slight differences but uh, for this one I'm going to select the transparent shader okay and then the next step will be to go back to solid view and then let's save before we continue and then I'm going to select the cylinder the inflow cylinder and then press shift s and move the cursor to the cylinder and then press shift a and add a new cylinder and then press r x then 90 and then press S to scale. And then let's uh, take a closer look. And then press G, then set to grab it on the set axis. And then go into uh, edit mode by pressing tab. Then face select and select the uh, two faces on each side and then let's uh, set the increase value to 1 and then let's select the face on the uh, back and press G then Y to grab it on the Y axis and then we're going to select the uh, face in the front of the uh, cylinder and then press E, left click, S to scale it down, left click, and then press E and extrude it inwards. Like this. So now we have the uh, basic pipe. So let's go back to object mode. And then uh, let's add a subdivision surface modifier to increase the number of polygons. And uh, next up, we need to add a material for the pipe as well. So uh, let's add a uh, glossy shader. Go into rendered view. And then uh, let's take a uh, closer look. And then we can add a color. And uh, choose the amount of roughness you want for the shader. So something like this should be fine. So just experiment with the different colors. And I think something like this should be fine. So some shade of blue, which matches the rest of the scene. And uh, then let's go back to solid view. Now that we have the color for the pipe, and let's save before we continue in case something crashes. So click on the plus sign, and then save. Okay, so now we're basically ready to start the render. So uh, this is the time to make the final adjustments to the camera position, the materials, and so on. So just uh, experiment and make sure everything is looking fine because this is going to take a long time to render depending on the power of your computer so uh, you want everything to be perfect okay so i think this looks nice i'm also going to adjust the camera slightly so maybe something like this and make the uh, background a little bit brighter you can also extrude the floor so that you get walls so that um, the background becomes completely white but all of this is optional okay so i think this is fine and everything is within the frame of the camera so uh, let's do a final save and then we can start the render so go to render
and then render animation. And uh, that's it for this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will post more simulation tutorials very soon, so uh, thank you guys for watching, and subscribe.